In this series we'll build each kit from the Fantasy Village set by Battle Systems, discussing any construction pitfalls and build mistakes as well as kit specific build tips and possible conversions. Once everything is built we'll test a variety of methods to colour the edges of the terrain and then finally conclude with an in-depth overall review video of the whole Fantasy terrain set. Follow along and consider subscribing if that sounds like something you don't want to miss. If you haven't already, I recommend watching my introductory video to this series where I cover a few really key tips that will be relevant to this build and the others. So today we're going to build up the Ancient Portal from Battle Systems. Now this came with my Kickstarter rewards for the Fantasy Village, but I don't believe that this is actually in the, the Fantasy Village at retail, So, but I know it can be bought separately. So you basically got this portal that can be used for I guess jumping between realms or jumping between spaces on the board that you're gaming on as well as a little console that has some neat little uh, tokens here that you could build into some kind of um, uh, some kind of mission that you've got uh, for the game that you're playing where maybe you have to collect these pieces to activate activate the console to activate the portal so this should be quite a straightforward one so as usual I've watched the battle systems guide I'm gonna now build this and point out any additional issues that might arise just going to start by popping out the everything that's to do with the portal and then we'll put the console separate and we've got some spare little pieces that sit around the base of the portal which we'll um, we'll leave on until we've built the other the main pieces So I've got the knife out because I saw as soon as I popped this one out that it looks like uh, this cut here hasn't been cut properly. Yeah, just there. I know from the video that it's going to go attach the portal there, so it does, definitely does need to be a cut. Looks like something went wrong there with the tooling. Just do a little bit to start with, we can do some more afterwards, we don't want to make it baggy. Yeah, this bit needs to be cut out as well. It hasn't quite popped through properly. Okay, so we'll build the portal first. Lots of cuts all the way along this. So that's going to fit inside of here, so just need to bend that a little bit at a time. It really doesn't need much at all, so a tiny little bend on each piece to start with. What I'm finding quite useful is to put my thumbnail into the back of where the bend should be when I'm bending it. It's the same theory really as if you were to bend it over a sharp ruler or a sharp table edge. It should just stop the card splitting where you don't want it to split. Little hole there which goes here but that's off centre so it clearly goes that way. And then you've got grooves on each end of this piece which need to slot into the base here. I'll get one of those in first. They need to be widened a little bit there, they're not wide enough. As ever, if you're not really confident using a knife, I suggest just using some straight edge clippers to widen these uh, widen these uh, cuts a little bit. Yeah, that one's a lot wider. See how wide that is? That's sort of a good three, two, three mil there. That one's almost half the size. Still quite tight, but then you do want it to be tight, you don't want it to be too loose, that would be worse. Okay, that's tricky. Maybe don't plug that middle bit in first. Okay, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Hold it to the side, get the ends in, and then we'll sort out the middle bit afterwards. Yeah, so that's that's too big, that one. That's just flopping in and out of there. So that's a good indication. I mean that's actually the first cut that I found on all the models that is obviously too big. So we just put that, but luckily it will hold itself in place when we put this in. That is one thing I'll say about this battle system terrain. Considering how precise these cuts need to be, like I said, that is the first one I found to be in and of itself not usable. But it is usable because the force of how this piece fits together will actually hold that in place. Okay, so a couple of little bends on this piece. And remember from the video that that sits through the uh, 
through the portal, so we need to put these. Is there a front or a back? I don't think so, so. step in. I was just looking at that then thinking there might have been a step that I've missed out but I don't think I have. No, that looks okay. And we got the other two steps. And if you saw that then that's quite yeah, that piece is very tight. I didn't notice it as I pushed it in. Did a bit of damage on there, so I'm gonna have to cut that a little bit. Okay, that was a bit more awkward than I was expecting, but got there in the end, so you can see. Because I didn't cut it to start with, there's a bit of damage on there. Not the end of the world, but that is a bit annoying. I mean, on the one hand, you could say, it's something of a defect in the product that it doesn't fit together perfectly but I would look at it slightly differently and think when I'm buying something like this that I want to fit together quite tightly and I know what it's made of it's kind of on me to know that I might need to modify that a little bit and I should have looked out for that before I put it on maybe it's a 50-50 really but that's fine I will do another video about colouring in all these edges I'm going to test out a couple of different things so we can fix that either by paint or by felt tip but I'm going to test out a couple of different options for that portal okay yeah I'm going to rather than make the same mistake again I'm just going to make that wider again I'm take that out this piece although it looks like it's big enough that side you can see there that it actually needs trimming a little bit once I've built everything up, I will do a separate video giving a, an overall review of the whole terrain system, the whole fantasy village and everything that I've got. But after building a number of these models, I can sort of say one thing straight away, which is if you're expecting to just buy this, build it up in five minutes, straight out of the box, you're going to be disappointed. I think you're going to do a little bit of work, but I'd hope that, you know, for most of us that are into wargaming, we kind of understand that the hobby aspect of this requires some work over and above just popping you know grabbing stuff out of the box and it being ready to go or, you know 100% ready to go okay there you go so got a portal or the, the the matter inside the portal with this piece that holds it in place and it fits in that groove there underneath this bit of portal wall so basically yeah basically you can either have the portal open like that i suppose portals open or portals inactive um, that's quite solid so yeah if you're gaming with that with the portal sort of coming active and inactive multiple times to run the game um, that doesn't look like that's going to wear out particularly so that'll be fine so yeah there's the portal looks pretty good I like that let's just build up the console quickly That piece is quite tight as well on my set. So you might find on your sets that the, the tooling is off a little bit in, on other pieces. Like that, that piece might be totally fine on your set. You know, the, the, the die cutter that's set up for, for these will last a certain amount of presses and then it'll be replaced. I've, I've cut that a bit too wide there. Um, then it'll be replaced. And, you know, unless maybe you got the set that was right after mine, you're unlikely to have defects in exactly the same place may have no defects on your set in which case fantastic okay that's pretty straightforward it's like building one of the chimneys kind of right that piece we need next and i just realized i probably should might want to do put it in first but we'll we'll see if we can get it in no i don't want to damage that so i'm going to take that back out so when you're building yours don't make that same mistake i did get that in there first that's not as straightforward as it looks <laughs> it's one of the few pieces where I really wished I had a, another pair of hands. 
I just need a little bit of fiddling around with just to get that to sit sit in there properly. And this is one of the pieces where they recommend you glue it. So I will be doing that. This piece goes in on top, we can glue that in. So uh, as soon as we don't need it uh, to sort of hold its own weight or anything, I'll use PVA rather than super glue. You know what, now I'm looking at it, I think that's actually up the wrong way around. Okay, so that is the correct way up. I uh, just thought it wasn't because it, it wasn't sitting in here very well, so I think what I'm going to do is just pop a bit of PVA in the back of there. You know, I'm not going to be taking this piece apart between games, you know, there's no chance of that, so I can glue that, safely glue that down there. May as well, while I'm here, pop a bit in there as well. That'll dry clear, so it'll be fine. Yeah, don't want to overuse the glue, so that'll, that'll be enough, that'll be fine. There's these small tokens here, which I won't pop out just yet, because I don't want to lose them. You can basically lay them in here, and they can be part of objectives in the game. What I will do now, though, is just take these vegetation patches out. Okay, yeah, you can see a couple of issues here. Luckily that didn't pull any of the artwork off. This one has split. A little bit split there. You can kind of live with that. You do just need to be really careful though. So this piece apparently goes on the console. Okay, it looks like that sits there. You know what? That's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to glue it on. I think you can spend a long time going back and checking the videos for where things are meant to go, but I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be critical to you know, the structure of anything, so I fancy it going there, so that's where it's going. And I think that is right. Just a bit of ivy hanging off the portal. Sorry, hanging off the console panel. Okay, now these bits apparently are meant to be able to go sort of like around the base here, just to help it blend into whatever battlefield you've got set up. So what I'm looking at is whether I can glue that on in any way that's going to be stable, where I can still take out the, take the steps off the portal. Although, do I really want to take those steps off at some point? I'm thinking if I'm putting in a box, I could actually lay it that way. You know what, I'm gonna, just going to glue it. Just got to kind of make a decision about some of these things. So some of these pieces are a strange length. They don't quite match up with the, the back of the portal here. Just there, it doesn't quite match up. But I think we'll just go with that. Now I've done that, I can see that some of these pieces aren't completely square, whereas the corners of those um, mossy patches underneath are completely square so it basically just means that this isn't going to glue on perfectly but I started it now so just going to leave it let that set and then we'll you know we'll have a look what it looks like if we need to add a bit more glue around the edges then we'll do it so let's take a look at the portal on the tabletop amongst some of the rest of the terrain if you've got any build tips, add them to the comments, you know, other people hopefully will find that really interesting and useful. Next week we're going to be tackling something a little bit different, the village ruins. I'm really looking forward to these ones because they're going to add a, a great deal of variety to the tabletop.